Now, Jay, you remember the last episode when we were talking about Memorial Day and Veterans Day? Yes. And we was a little confused. We were confused. We had to Google it. We had to Google it. Yeah. We weren't the only ones confused. Mm. And just so people know that I won't bash Fox News all of the time, Fox News had a segment. And the segment was basically about the squad members, Mm -hmm. Omar and Corey Bush. Okay. They had to delete some Memorial Day posts. And I bet everybody out there is thinking, well, why did they have to delete some Memorial Day posts? Post. Both representatives posted tweets on Memorial Day that was criticized for missing the point of the holiday, which is to which is dedicated to honoring those who lost their lives in the service to country. Yes. The tweets were seen as confusing Memorial Day with Veterans Day, which honors all who have served. See, we told you all about that. Last week, Uh, after facing criticism, both representatives deleted their original tweets and posted new ones that more accurately reflected the purpose of Memorial Day. So they were celebrating. They was out there celebrating all the troops. Yeah. And we should always celebrate all the troops. But on Memorial Day, it is literally a memoriam to those that have lost their lives in service. And it wasn't like the tweet the tweets were like bad tweets. They just confused Memorial Day with Veterans Day. Like Rep Omar tweeted on hashtag Memorial Day, we honor the heroic men and women who have served our country. We owe them more than our gratitude. They have they have more than earned access to quality mental health services, job <laughs> opportunities, housing assistance, and the benefits they were promised. Now, of that's course, for we are veterans. About, that's definitely for veterans, <laughs> but we are definitely talking about people who have passed on. So they are not. They're not getting no benefits. Getting no benefits. He said they're not getting I mean, no maybe benefits. their family could get some benefits. You know, yes. maybe she could have spun it that way. Right. But yeah, no, no, no. So that's the reason why they was like. Oh, y'all confused. And I get it, right? Because we were confused. Here's yeah. a major difference. This is the reason why I'm not getting getting angry at Fox News for bringing this up and ridiculing them. It's because they're representatives and somebody should have fact-checked their tweet before they sent it out. Somebody on their team used to be like, hey, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Uh, you know Memorial Wait. Day is a memorial. It's about the people that passed. This They're not living no more. It's in the title. I mean, it's the <laughs> memorial. But, hey, look, we can't throw shade because yeah. we had it confused, right? But I'm saying yeah. it's it's not okay for us to have it confused. I'm not giving us a pass. I'm no. throwing us under the bus too. But they are actually representatives and have a yeah. team. Somebody should have been like, hey, yo. Hey yo, you know right. that dude. You know the dude they do the meme when he had the barbecue. Hey yo, <laughs> somebody <laughs> should be like, hey yo, yeah. We can't send this out. If you want to know how to stop the presses, <laughs> <laughs> yell, hey yo, hey yo. <laughs> literally everything stops. Hey, hey yo, in the black community and in like all people of of color, and no, no white people too. They, I feel they, like they, if they, you they, yell "ayo" in a crowded everybody, room, yeah, everybody's going to stop and look. You know, ayo, what? Nobody is a monolith, but this is something that we all can agree on. If somebody says "ayo," everybody yeah. stops. Yeah, somebody should have been like "ayo." Yeah, y'all got this wrong. It was. It's. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for us because you know we got a little platform or something. You know, mm-hmm. I'm saying that we should know. Right. It's way more embarrassing for them because they're actually representing our country. Yeah. Y'all should at least know our holidays. <laughs> I mean, even at the, rest, the minimum. At the minimum, you need to know what's that and And they knew they was wrong. That's the reason why I deleted it and then came out with new ones. Yeah. But it was too late. I'm I'm looking for a way to get my pass. Tie, to tie in AO with AOC like 
AOC, but, see y'all got that wrong. Like, you know, like, <laughs> but AOC I wouldn't have made that, that mistake. She That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. she would have come behind them and been like, hey, yo, <laughs> see y'all got them wrong. <laughs> you know? If you like that clip, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to catch up on all of our latest content. Don't forget to hit the notification button when you do subscribe so you can get updated every time we release content. We release content every day, whether it's an actual show or clips from the show. So go ahead and subscribe, like, comment. Also, don't forget our Patreon page where you can find our Talking Straight-ish and After Hours Uncensored episodes. That's patreon.com backslash unsolicited perspectives. But once again, thank you again for listening to Unsolicited Perspectives. I'm your host, Bruce Anthony, and I'm going to catch you next time. I'll holler.